Today we are crawling on all fours, and today I have some running footage of my new Rock Pirates RC rig. Getting right into it, this particular footage is a comparison of the first motor and ESC I had installed when I built the rig. An RC four-wheel drive, 20-turn brushed motor, and a Reedy ESC from a parts bin that came out of another Element Enduro Sendero truck of mine. This was the first time I took the truck out on the trail to see how it performed. I was pleased off the bat, but after a little while I was a little aggravated with the stop and go action that is typical with brushed motors and basic ESCs when they kind of stall as they approach an obstacle. The crawling itself isn't necessarily smooth or uniform unless the wheels are spinning at a decent rate as you can see in this incline. Several days later. A few days later I had replaced the brush motor and the ESC with the Hobbywing Fusion SE brushless motor and ESC combo. This motor and ESC is combined into a single can and the results are nothing short of amazing. As you can see, the truck is moving slow and smooth as it approaches this large rock and moderate incline. While I'm highlighting the motor in this part of the video, there are other things also going on here such as low ride height, tires, chassis balance, and suspension. In combination, these variables lead to high performance over seemingly difficult obstacles, which is exactly what I was aiming for when I built this rig. The Hobbywing Fusion series defines scale and trail rock crawling. One of the best features of the Fusion motor is FOC, or Field Oriented Control, an approach for brushless motors that delivers constant torque under resistance and load. In addition, this method is quiet and efficient, providing more runtime and therefore more fun time. You know the rules. No fun allowed. Now what does that all mean? Honestly, I'm not a mathematician, an electrician, or an expert in power delivery, but I do know that when I pull the throttle and keep it steady, the truck rolls over obstacles without stalling, which is a significant improvement over how the truck performed in the beginning of this video when I described the stop and go action of the brushed motor and ESC as I went over the rocks and obstacles. You can just see the effortless crawling this truck makes over these rocks without the need for additional throttle input. And since I'm holding the throttle at a constant rate, the output is less taxing on the battery which makes the motor operation and draw more efficient than a typical brushed motor. In this footage, I've returned to the same spot I was crawling on during my first run with the previous motor and ESC. There's really no comparison as the wheel speed remains slow and constant. This looks great on camera and creates a lot of interest resulting in a very enjoyable visual experience, like how the truck dips and then rises back up very gracefully. Such a great shot. And as I mentioned before, the motor is really quiet. There are other factors involved, certainly when talking about motor and gear noise, but it all starts with the motor as a first link in the chain. This is the incline at the beginning of the video. It's always been a tough incline, but this truck performed fantastic. Tree roots are great examples of obstacles that non-FOC motors can typically stall on when approaching at low speeds. This was not a problem for the Fusion motor at all. These are the general grabber tires that came with my original Element Enduro Sendero truck, and the white wagon wheels were one of the first upgrades that I did to that truck, and they've always performed well. Team Associated really hit a home run with these tires. I really like the contrast of the white wheels against the blue rusty body. However, I'm keeping my options open because they look a little too clean for this weathered paint job. I like calling this obstacle Between Two Stones. It's a great little spot to challenge chassis weight balance, torque, wheel speed, and tire grip. The truck didn't even flinch. Not far from this little outcrop is one of my favorite little climbs. It's a small rock with a big challenge involving low speed side hilling, tire placement, and patience. 
It's important that I keep my right rear wheel along this straight ridge line. If I'm going too fast, or if my tire slips down to the right, I'll lose grip and the wheels will keep slipping. It might be a limitation of the tires themselves, but I decided that the ridge line is the boundary in order to solve this particular problem. Now this is the part where patience kicks in. I have to continue at low speed and wait until my front left wheel comes down before I can add throttle and restore grip to pull me over the brow. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future and click the bell for notifications. Thanks again and keep crawling.